hi loves welcome to my channel so let's learn how to make this mini skirt crop top with bell sleeve and we're just going to get right into the video now i'm going to cut my skirt part i minused 1.5 inch from the actual length and i just took the length of the skirt the 1.5 inch is going to be for the band we'll be attaching to the skirt so this is a mini skirt and that is why it is short so i came down by eight inches for the hip line so if the person is taller you can do nine inches so i'm just going to connect that with a straight line after marking i divided her waist measurement by four and i added two inches allowance to it that's including that allowance so i added two inches allowance to it now the hip measurement i divided it by four and i also added two inches allowance to it then for the hemline what i had for the hip line is what i'm going to impute at the hemline to get the bottom part of the skirt this is the front piece we are drafting now so what i have i'm just going to make sure it is correct and i'm going to impute it at the hemline to get the bottom part of the skirt and this skirt is going to have a slit so if you do not want a slit you want it to be a bit tight you can subtract one inch or 1.5 from your hip measurements and add it to the bottom part of the skirt so i'm just going to connect it with my curve as shown and this is what it looks like so this is the waist the hip and the length of my skirt now i'm going to cut this out Now for the back piece of the skirt, I just came in by 1.5 inch, that would be for the zipper allowance and we're going to cut it exactly the same way we cut out the front. The front will be the pattern we'll be using to cut the back. The back piece, the only difference between the front and the back is the zipper allowance. So this is the front and the back together and I also added 2 inches to the length of the skirt. Now let's cut the blouse. So I'm doing 18 inches for the length of the blouse, 18 inches. So you can use your desired measurements depending on how low or how high you want the blouse to be, the top part, that's the crop top. So I divided her shoulder measurement by two and I added one inch allowance to it, sorry, half inch allowance to it. So I'm going to come down by one inch for shoulder slope now the neck width is 3.5 inches 3.5 inches is the neck width and the neck depth is also 3.5 inches i'm doing 3.5 by 3.5 because there's not going to be any zipper at the back of this dress so for the neck to go through easily you can do 3.5 inches it is going to be comfortable for your client or for yourself so i'm just going to go up and mark quarter of an inch and that quarter of an inch line is where i'm going to cut when i'm cutting so i'm just going to connect the shoulder slope to the neckline and i'll measure my armhole so you can divide your armhole by six and add 1.5 to it so i'm going to make sure the shoulder measurement is correct and i'm going to mark at that so i'll connect from the shoulder slope to the hemline so i'm going to take what i have there i'll divide it by two and i'll mark the middle point and that is going to be for the armhole curve for the front so I'm just going to connect it to the arm o curve. I came out by half of an inch to get my arm o curve. So I'm going to connect this to the line as shown. 
So now I'm going to divide her bust measurement by four. And I added three inches allowance for ease. So I divided her waist measurement by four and added three inches allowance for ease. You can use the bust measurement for as the waist measurement, depending on what you want. So you can just use the bust measurement as the waist measurement and add your allowance to it. So after connecting, this is what it looks like. So I came up by half inch for the shoulder as shown as my allowance for joining the shoulder. This is optional if you do not want to do this. So that is half inch I came up by. Now I'm going to cut this out and we'll go to the back piece. Now I'm cutting the back piece exactly the way I cut out the front piece. I'm using the front piece as a pattern. I did not add any allowance, zipper allowance to this because there's not going to be any zipper allowance at the back. So just cut out your front piece the same way and just cut out the back piece the same way you cut out the front piece. So for the armhole, I am going to fold the front piece aside as shown because the armhole will not be coming out by half of an inch. We came out by half of an inch for the armhole of the front because we want the front to relax. But the back, we're going to use our exact armhole without coming out by half of an inch. I hope you understand. So I'm going to cut out the back part first and we'll further cut out the front. So I'm going to take out the front. I'm going to take it away and cut it separately. So this is the neck I'm cutting now. And also I'll cut out my shoulder slope. Now I'm going to cut out the front piece with that half of an inch curve just to help the front relax more. So this is the back and the front together. I'm going to take my nipple to nipple measurement which is 7 inches, divide by 2, 3.5 and I'm going to mark that. I'll just notch it so that we can impute our that. So this is my sleeve, I folded my fabric into 4 to get my sleeve so what i'm going to do now is to mark my baseline from which we're going to be taking the length of the sleeve so i took the length of my sleeve and i added two inches allowance to it that's for the joining and also the folding of the bottom of the sleeve so now I'm going to come down from that starting line. I'm going to come down by, I, I think I came down by 3.5. Yes, I came down by 3.5 inches. So that would be our bicep line. That's the height of the sleeve. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to divide my round arm O measurement on that bicep line. My round arm O measurement divided by 2. I'm going to divide it by 2. I'm going to add, I think I added 1.5 inch. No, I added 2 inches to it. So just divide your round arm O measurement and add your allowance. So from that point, I'm going to just slant my ruler like this and draw a straight line to the starting line. So... After drawing the line, I'm going to use my curve to just make that um, that sleeve curve that we have. Now, this is what it looks like. Now, I'm going to take my ruler. First of all, I will measure the round sleeve measurement. She said she doesn't want this to be too big. So I'm going to just measure what she wanted and I'll add 2 inches allowance to it. So if you want this to be very big, 
you can make it very big now i'm just slanting my ruler as shown and this would be all for the sleeve you can see it's not too white as expected so i'm going to cut this out and we'll be moving on Now this is the sleeve so for the top I cut out facing for the neckline so I'm going to sew the neckline and insert my dart I'll do it for both back and the front so now after doing this I'm going to pin the front and the back right sides facing to each other and I'm going to sew the shoulder. I'm going to close the shoulder. So after pinning, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and close the shoulder. And come back to show you what next to do. I'm still going to close the sides as well to the bottom. I'll close the sides. Now we're going to attach our sleeve to this top. We're attaching our sleeve. I already notched the middle. So we'll take one part. And I'm going to be attaching it to the shoulder with my pin. And I'll take it to my sewing machine. And sew this with half of an inch. So after attaching this sleeve, I'm going to fold the bottom part of the sleeve and also the bottom part of the dress. And that will be all for the sewing of the top part. Now let's go to the skirt. I cut out lining for my front and back pieces together. And we're going to be using this lining to turn our skirt. So this is our front part. I'm going to place my lining on it. With the same shape i cut out my skirt so make sure you're not turning this upside down so i'm going to close the sides of this skirt making sure that my lining is equal and i'm going to sew the bottom part because i gave out two inches for the allowance so, and i will do the same thing for the back as well So I'll join the sides, the bottom, and also impute my darts. I'll impute my darts to this. So now after sewing and imputing my darts, this is what it looks like. You can get this effect at the bottom part of your skirt if your lining is shorter than the skirt. So this is the back. And this is it. So what I'm doing now is just to come up and mark where the slit is going to start from and also mark out my zipper allowance. So I'm marking my zipper allowance. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a slit on this skirt. So if you do not want a, a slit, you can just sew it from the bottom all the way to the top and stop where you want your zipper to end. So I'm marking the zipper allowance where we're going to be inserting our zip. So wherever you want your zip to stop, so I'm just going to start from that place and sew it. That place I'm marking, I'm just going to sew it and stop somewhere. So that's where I'm going to insert my zip. So... So I'll take this to my sewing machine and sew it down and stop at that point. So after sewing, 
this is what it looks like and this is the slit part of it as you can see and the upper part is for the zipper allowance and this for the zipper allowance so i'm going to pin the zipper allowance part i'm going to pin it down as shown then i'll place the right size of the skirt right sides facing each other the back and the front together making sure it is equal at the side i'm going to take the waist measurement divided by four and i'll take the hem measurement and also the hip measurement so i'm just going to mark where i'm going to sew on my skirt so after sewing this is my band. The width of this band is um, 4.5 inches and I'm still going to fold it into two as shown. So the length is the waist measurement plus 4 inches. So I'm going to take this round and also insert my zipper to the back. Now this is what we have. This is the top after sewing can see how beautiful it is and this is the skirt part so thank you so much for watching this video to the end please do not forget to subscribe i'll be seeing you in my next video do have a nice day bye